Are the cheap squishies you find at Timu any good? Let's find out. Don't wait for tomorrow. What's up guys? It is Dr. Squish. Welcome back to the channel, Dr. Squish. I hope you knew where you were. Uh, today I have more Timu. Now you guys liked it when I got a whole bunch of stuff from Timu, the, the app, the website, lots of cheap stuff. I did fidget toys and dig it bars and squishies and all sorts of stuff. And it was so much fun and I was so impressed that I decided to do a squishy only video. I mean, this is Dr. Squish. That's why you're here uh, to see if these are even worth buying. I have a bag. Oh, it? it's Timu. <laughs> now, once again, just like the last time, it just comes in a, a bag. If you're ordering things that are fragile, don't. <laughs> just don't. If you need something that's gonna come in one, just don't. I figured the squishies would be fine, but I got a whole bunch and I'm going to try and put on the screen how much everything costs, but we'll find out if you can get really cheap, but really good squishies from Timu. Let's go. Okay, so I just dumped everything out on the table. I'm just gonna be kind of pulling from the pile and we're gonna kind of rate everything. I don't have like a good rating system. I'm just gonna tell you if I think it was worth it or not. My biggest thing, as you saw, they come in like this, not even a padded envelope. It's like a bag that they tape up. Sometimes things don't quite make it in the packaging they came in. My very first squishy of the day from Timu. Oh, you guys look, it's so cute. I don't know what it's supposed to be. It looks like a little jello mold with some whipped cream and like a pink berry on top. Yes, it's full of gel. <gasps> Guys, it's got little umbrellas in it. This reminds me so much of like old school Dr. Squish when I was cutting open squishies from Japan. This is so similar to what I would have bought there. It is kind of cloudy as I play with it and you can't really see through it until you do this. So let's, let's go with, I don't know, maybe seven and a half out of 10 here. All right, seven and a half out of 10 on my very first squish. That's so cute. Oh, the last time I did a Timu video, I found these kind of malt syrup squishies. Apparently that's like a brand new, not brand new, but that's like this kind of new trending thing. And I know I bought some of those, so let me find one. So they're, they're translucent and pink and purple, but both of these, they came as a, a twofer, two, as they came as a pair. Uh, they look like dumplings. So these are both the malt syrup squishies. Oh, they feel so good. So this one's full of some kind of gel. I don't know what kind, it's not water, but it's kind of a thinner gel. These are full of the syrup, so they're very soft. If a, a liquid filled squishy can be slow rising. These are kind of slow rising. Aren't they cute? I actually really love this glittery pink syrup. I just am wondering what malt syrup is. Is it edible? Please don't don't open and lick or eat these. These are not made for consumption. Just don't do that. I guess malt is a thing. Is it? I don't know what malt syrup is, but yeah, these, even though these are even simpler than this, th these get like nine out of 10 for me. These are so good. I'll tell you why. Do you see how small it is? It's like big enough that you can get a good squeeze, but it's small enough that it's really portable and it's just so soft. Oh. I wonder if I could put corn syrup in the squishy maker and it would do this. I'm going to have to experiment and try that out. Nine out of 10, I love those. Next, what is this? You guys can see, this is how the packaging came. It's like gross and I don't know. Look at this! Okay, so this is like an orange, I guess. It is so natural looking. It doesn't look like a weird fake orange. It's like a natural, just cut off the tree in your yard orange. It's super soft. Like this outside is really soft, but let's give it a squeeze. I can't tell what's in it. Oh, you know I wanna cut that open. I can't tell because I don't think it's the cloud dough type stuff. It's very liquidy. So maybe like the shaving cream type insides. This is really soft. This is really, really, really good quality as a squishy. This gets nine out of 10. This is awesome. I've already given things nine out of 10. I need to be a little more discerning. Let's go for something that I know I'm not gonna give a nine out of 10. <clears throat> First off, it didn't come in any packaging of any kind. It just came like this. The picture did not quite look like this. It looks dirty. I mean, and what are these like white splatters? 
that are they're meant to be there. But do you see how it looks dirty? It didn't even come in a little baggy. And it's soft-ish. And let's give it a squeeze. Yeah, it's good. I think this one actually has the fake snow in there. This is the same type of stuff that comes in my Squishy Maker kit. Okay, I was about to be like really salty and give this one bad marks, but it's still a good squishy. It's ugly and it was dirty, but look, look how stretchy this burger is. Oh, shoot. As far as squishiness goes, this is probably 10 out of 10 and I was about to give it low marks, but because it's kind of... Mm, it doesn't look very good. I'm going to give this one a uh, 7 out of 10. There's just so much better this could be. But if you're only in it for the sensory stuff, this is a good one. I'm not sure how long this will last before it gets a hole in it. 7 out of 10. You guys, I'm going to have to put pictures of what they were supposed to look like on the screen. So here's what I thought I was ordering. And here's what I got. <laughs> You could choose from the different animals you wanted. This one was supposed to be a blowfish because whatever this business is was supposed to like close over its mouth like that. Or it is its mouth, right? But it just looks like a weird nose. <gasps> I was fully expecting Orbeez squish. Oh, look. Man, everything is so good. Even the things that I think are gonna be like low quality. They're still so good. This design is so stupid. I feel like they could have left this, this off and it would have been fine, but I'm terrible at ranking things. Eight out of 10. <laughs> I'm such a sucker. I give everything like really high marks. I don't know. Eight out of 10. It's good. Everything can't be so high. What is this? It's double bagged. Some of the stuff came with no bag and this one is double bagged. To me, this looks like a baby's teething ring. Doesn't this look like a teething ring? Like you put it in the uh, freezer and... Oh, look how beautiful that is! <gasps> look how gorgeous! I'm tired. <laughs> Everything is so good! Have I like lost my touch where I... All of a sudden everything is really great? I don't know, I expect to get this cheap stuff from Timu and be like, no, this one's not good quality and no, but everything's really good, even the stuff that I don't think is gonna be. It kind of reminds me of those like new ooze mats where the liquid goes back and forth and watch. Oh, that's gorgeous. Woo! That gets an, this is an eight and a half out of 10. I love this. The only thing I don't like is kind of, its shape is kind of dumb. I gotta find something wrong with them or I feel like I'm cheating it. I don't know. It, it's July, the end of July as I'm filming this. So we're really close to Halloween. You know, if you're one, if you're a spooky girl like, like me. So let's do some Halloween. I only bought one of these. Why did I do that? I pity the poor soul that had this skull shape. Like if we draped flesh and bone like around this, that would be awful. I think this is one of the pop-up ones. So let's see what's inside. Yes. <laughs> Why didn't I get an entire set of these? That's the cutest little bat ever. Oh, I love him. I actually like these like a lot, these particular type of squishies. So nine and a half out of 10. I love this one. <laughs> I'm a child. I, what do you call these pop-up squishies? This is so cute. Yeah, nine and a half out of 10. That's awesome. I should have gotten more of these. I got two. I bought two separate ones. They are little seashells and I don't think I've ever had anything like this before. Something's going to pop out of this hole. It's a really soft, rubbery, beautiful purple ombre shell, but let's squeeze it and see what happens. <gasps> I don't know why I thought it was gonna be like one of those, like a pea popper, like a little pea or maybe like a clam or something was gonna come out of there. But no, it's an Orby squish for science. I need to take whatever that is out. It's just, it literally, oh, look at its shape. It literally is like a little Orbeez squish. It's cute. It's simple, it's cute, it's satisfying. It has Orbeez, which of course, I'm going to warn you, please do not buy or use Orbeez toys if you have small children or pets. I think that this gets, oh, it's purple. Uh, this is my favorite one. Six out of 10, six and a half out of 10 for, <laughs> for the awesome color. I like this. I don't really love the red and purple, but this one I like. Six and a half out of 10. It's good. It is time for the alpacas. Oh, this one is another malt syrup one. <gasps> chunky alpaca, oh my gosh. He's so chubby. Look how tiny his little legs are and how chunky his tum is. He's really sticky. These ones were really sticky and he's really sticky. So it's something about these malt syrup squishies. They're actually sticky on the outside and he's got a... 
<laughs> Let's squeeze him. I haven't even sque squeezed him yet. Are you guys ready? Oh, nice. So this is malt syrup with really chunky pink glitter. I don't see any like shapes. I love him. He's even softer than, than these are. He gets 10 out of 10. I'm sorry. He's so cute. Look at this cute little alpaca. He looks like he's made of glass. Squishy glass alpaca gets a 10 out of 10. You, you rate him if you want to do it differently. He does. He looks like a gorgeous little crystal alpaca. He's so cute. All right. 10 out of 10 on the squish alpaca. Now, I have opened many a squish banana in my career. Never a squish banana filled with malt syrup. I have opened them filled with sand. Lots of sand bananas. I have opened them filled with, like, shaving cream type stuff. Maybe even some cloud dough. This is my very first malt syrup banana. Once again, it is very sticky. So these malt syrup ones are super sticky. I'm wondering if you could wash them like you can your mochis. This is a gorgeous color. It is so stretchy. <laughs> so you may sense a theme here and you're not wrong. All of these malt squishies are getting 10 out of 10. I love this. This one gets an 11 out of 10 because I love the colors. This and the purple and the pink and the glitter and the squish. Oh, and it goes back slowly to its shape. 11 out of 10, this is my favorite one. This is my favorite one of the day so far. They all smell terrible. All right, so now we're gonna get to it. <laughs> if you are on TikTok or YouTube Shorts or anything else, Reels, you have seen this guy. He has been viral. The viral squeeze orangutan. Orangutan? Or, 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 why can't I say that word? The viral squeeze orangutan, but I don't know it as this. I bought this from Timu. I got this the other day at the Atlanta gift show. This guy is real. So this is the real viral stretch gorilla. This is the one that's going to be in retail stores. Like he should be there now. He's huge. He's purple. He's, they also had brown ones, I think. He's really big. And he was called the super stretchy gorilla. This is from Timu. <laughs> and you can see his box is all messed up. Okay, first off, look at this paint job. Okay, let's compare. This is the real one. He's so squishy and he's full of sand for sure. This one is not full of sand. What? He's full of like, Oh dear, <gasps> he is full of, sh of cream, like shaving cream. First off, the paint job is terrible. The face is not as cute. He's not the same because once you stretch him, he just goes back because he's full of, of cream or something. Whereas this guy, the real one, and he's full of sand and he just makes crazy shapes and then you can kind of make him go back. So this one is much higher quality than the Timu one. This one's really funny. But you can't do the viral things like throwing him off a building and he makes crazy shapes that you could do with this guy. He gets like a four out of 10. I'm so disappointed in this guy. I was hoping that he would be like a good comparison, but that looks, hmm. My last squishies of the day are kind of similar where it, this is a viral squishy on TikTok and everywhere else. These are heavy. <laughs> These are full of sand just like the gorilla was. I did not see these, you know, that were gonna be at retailers at the Atlanta gift show that I did. But they're similar to him. This is the little one. These were the most expensive squishies of the day. I'll put the prices on the screen. Stretch pink. And wait, let me see, hold on. Oh yeah, so good. Okay, this is the little piggy. And here's Big Deborah. So, okay, okay, stretch. You get down here so that the people can see you. So he's also full of sand, but he's so stretchy. He's very much like the gorilla. <laughs> so you have two different sizes. These are the most expensive ones of the day, but still not terrible. <laughs> oh Lord, okay. <laughs> Okay, so my rating on Big Pig and Little Pig, these get 
I'm gonna go with eight out of 10 for these. Um, they were more expensive, but they're they're funny. They're worth it. There you go. All right, guys, so we got the pigs. We got all of the uh, malt syrup ones, which were super duper cute. We got my very first little jello. We got a very disappointing gorilla or an orangutan. We have an awesome orange that I am still very impressed with. A strangely awesome burger that I was more impressed with than I thought. This guy. I want a whole army of these. These shells, they're okay. And then my weirdo sea creatures. So you're gonna have to leave me comments in the comments and tell me which of these was my best purchase. Okay, so the point of this video is can you buy good squishies from Timu? And I think you can. My opinion obviously is you can't. I mean, I actually gave 10 out of 10 to multiple ones of these squishies. So there's a few like cons you can't order things that might be fragile or might break because the shipping containers are kind of yeah. and some of the stuff might come dirty and it might come out of its packaging. But for the most part, I am impressed with everything except you, not you, not you, not this. I'm not impressed with this guy and, and whatever's happening on his chest. This is unacceptable. But leave me a comment and let me know which one was your favorite and which one you think you would like to, to find yourself. And uh, please subscribe to Dr. Squish if you haven't done so already. And I will see you on my next show. Bye-bye, Squishy fans.